Craig here. Well, after doing all the testing of the feeds and speeds in aluminum, I'm about ready to uh, make the first pallet. Right? I've got the pallet reinstalled here. I actually centered it perfectly this way, which means I couldn't um, align it off here. I couldn't tram it off here, so I trammed it off this edge right here. All right, now I'm going to find the uh, locate my zero, which is going to be the top center of this pin right here so and this is using the uh, fine circular ball center uh, in path pilot probing <laughs> Okay, that was just X and Y, now I'm going to do Z. Okay, now I'm going to put the uh, pallet on. Just uh, lift up on that. Okay, now I'm going to probe the top of the pallet to see if we're pretty close to where we're supposed to be. The exact height of uh, the top of the pallet and the edges aren't really that critical uh, unless you're going to be putting parts directly on it then you're going to have to face it then you'll have it perfect um, but the actual height that you're machining to is the important height so everything's referenced off the the pallet itself so of the pallet base now this is uh, i'm not finding and setting work origin I'm just finding z Path pilot, it's showing my Z as 0 0.9904. Okay, I've got my uh, code loaded in for the pallet for the shear hog portion of it. There's going to be uh, another code for the uh, the three eighths carbide end mill.
Okay, I got the code loaded in for the 3 8 end mill, uh, two flute carbide. I've got the end mill loaded there. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to figure out how to do rest machining, where it just machines out the, the remainder. Um, basically, what I'm trying to get out is uh, this corner right here, this corner right here, and of course, uh, finish off the, um, the perimeter here. Uh, ten <clears throat> thou that I left. Um, I don't know. I tried. I tried everything I could think of in there. I clicked the button rest machining, but uh, I wasn't able to figure it out. So I just need to get this pallet made. So I'm just gonna be cutting a lot of air here. Um, if anybody watching this happens to know what I may be doing wrong, um, please let me know. But all right. Okay, well that portion went pretty smoothly. You can see the little uh, cutouts in there. That's so that this part can go right up against here. Uh, so this can act as a stop. Okay, I got the code loaded for the two uh, recess holes that the clamps are going to go into. Okay, now that the uh, the hole for the wider part of the clamp is done, uh, there's one more uh, recess in both of these for the the narrower part of the clamp, uh, and that will keep the the clamp from you know moving around, spinning, you know. Right. Okay, now I just have to drill, drill and tap a couple of holes. Got the uh, 1364 drill bit ready. Okay, I'm drilling, I'm uh, tapping this. Uh, I've actually finished drilling it. I left like 30 thou 
underneath so I wouldn't drill on the bottom uh, so I wouldn't drill into the uh, the mechanism the top of this thing and now I'm using the old uh, drill press with the tap method normally I just use a gun tap but these threads are kind of critical because they're you know the clamp is using them so that one's done and I'm in the middle of tapping this one right here okay and the final piece to this puzzle are these Mighty Bite Uniforce, Uniforce clamps. These are just going to fit down in these little pockets here. Like that. Okay. I believe these are the uh, 750s. Uh, I believe they're three quarter of an inch wide. Uh, 2,000 pounds of clamping force. Right. Looks like we may be poking through just a hair. I don't think you're supposed to pass through this spot right here. But I don't know. If I have a problem with it, I may have to uh, grind the tips of these down so they don't hit. Okay, so the way this works is I just put a couple clamps in here. One, two, tighten this down. Okay, well, it looks like I may actually be hitting the uh, part underneath so anyways but you get the idea I'll have to grind a, a tad bit off the bottom of these screws uh, this basically this clamp expands and pushes these out this way and then I can then uh, go ahead and machine so this uh, pallet is basically done okay here it is working uh, you know not being on the base and all you basically put these two in here uh, you'd actually normally use like an impact gun, but I don't have this size yet. And you tighten this down. And those are locked in there. Alright. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or uh, suggestions or anything you'd like me to cover or something, just leave them in the comment section below. I'm glad to uh, read all the comments. Um, also, if you'd like to subscribe, uh, I've got a subscribe button over there. And uh, there should be a couple of videos down below uh, for other videos you might like to watch. All right.